different types of F1 tyres? Let's find out. So the first tyre we're going to be looking at is the soft tyre with the red rings. It heats up the fastest and the more heat a tyre has in it, it means it sticks to the track better and so the driver has more grip. Which is of course what every driver wants, but it also degrades the fastest. You'll see these on qualifying runs normally. Now this is the medium tyre. It's a compromise between the hard tyre and the soft tyre. And at the Netherlands Grand Prix, by the way, the soft tyre could see, be seen doing about 25 laps. The medium tyre was seen doing about 30 to 35 laps. Now this next tyre is the hard tyre. It's the hardest of the compounds and it could do at the Netherlands Grand Prix about 35 to 40 laps. So it lasts the longest. So the next tyres we're going to be looking at are the Pirelli Cinturato wet weather tyres. So these are two compounds that are options for wet weather. Now what the two different ones are, one is intermediates with the green bands and the others are full wets. What makes them wet weather tyres is that they both have threads which are the grooves in the tyres to disperse the water. So these are the Pirelli Cinturato threaded intermediate wet weather tyres. You'll often hear these referred to as inters. Now these are between when the track is dry but it's still wet. Next are the wet weather tyres. You can see that they have a lot more thread than the inters and these are referred to as full wets. By the way, this is the Pirelli Tire Rainbow, and this was introduced in 2018, but it's no longer in effect, with a range of different tires that teams could pick from. It's pretty interesting. By the way, did you know that tires cost so much in F1? The team could spend over $5 million per season. Don't forget to leave us a like and a subscribe, guys. It helps us out so much. And we will also do a video on the different types of pit stop strategies and it will include some tyres so don't forget to check that out when it comes out.